Everyone loves a butterfly, don't they? And what can I say? They are very conventionally attractive animals. But today I have dinner guests and I try inviting the butterflies, but they're just too popular. They were too busy doing something else with Chris Packham. <laughs> So I'm going to have to turn to the next best thing, moths. Now, I shouldn't really be saying that because moths have formed the focus of my scientific research for the last two years. And not only that, but they are way more diverse than the butterflies could ever dream to be. But I'm going to let them do the talking. First, I need to make the main course. What does a moth like to eat then? Well, they've got a massive sweet tooth. So essentially what we need to create is a diabetic's worst nightmare. But the cool thing is, is that there is no recipe really. It's all about experimenting and seeing what ingredients work best for your moths. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of brandy, some sugar, that's a pretty obvious ingredient, isn't it? Some chopped up fruit, mainly bananas, and also some random stuff that I could find around the house. Look at this strawberry syrup from about 1979 by the looks of it. And a bit of golden syrup didn't do anyone any harm, did it? Ooh, look at that. And then what you want to do is stir it on a low heat for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, that's been simmering away for a good while now, so it's time to add the final secret ingredient. A load of old socks. In they go. Oh. Right, I'm now going to take this off the heat and leave it to cool down for a bit. And then serve on the washing line just before dark. Right, it's just turned 10 o'clock. It's time to check on my socks. Have my dinner guests arrived? There's only one way to find out. Well, you bet they arrived. This is absolutely awesome. I can see at least four different species here. I'm not that great at identification, so you're gonna have to excuse me, but I know what this fella is, or should I say lady. This is an old lady moth, one of the largest species of moth that you can get in this country. And the others, well, there's a strange white one, which I'm yet to, which is just flying in my face. And these ones here at the top, um, look to me like underwing moths. And what I think is amazing about moths is that even though a lot of them, I agree, are quite dull and boring, there's still a huge diversity in the colour patterns. Think about it. We have over a thousand different species of moth in this country alone, and each one of those species has a slightly different colour pattern. That's a huge amount of diversity, more impressive than any artist's portfolio, in my opinion. Each one of these different species of moth occupies a slightly different microhabitat, a slightly different niche in the environment, which means it's evolved slightly different patterning in order to optimize its camouflage. And that's one of the biggest differences between butterflies and moths. Moths, on the most part, are drab because in the daytime, they need to be camouflaged to avoid being predated by things like birds. This really is a great way to observe and study moths because you get them to do behaviours which you wouldn't normally see up close. If you look up close here, you can see them probing away at that sock, getting into those sugary juices with that long tube-like, straw-like proboscis. Now, I of all people should really like moths, really, because they've been my life for the last two years. They've been the primary focus of my scientific research at the University of Bristol, where I've been studying camouflage. Can't talk an awful deal about that yet, but watch this space for sure, because I'd love to share my results at some point. And one final tip for you. I really wouldn't recommend leaving your socks on the washing line during the daytime because you'll attract loads of wasps. Not that you're...
Thank you very much for watching this. Very kind of you, of course. Um, if you want to see more, then why not head over to Instagram and follow my at Benito Explains account, where you'll receive exclusive wildlife and science content. Go on, go and do it right now. You'll find the link in the description below this video. Get at it! Oh God, is that a wasp?